Welcome to NBA Basketball. This is 2K Sports bringing it to you live. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It's going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers up against the Sacramento Kings. And that's it for now. Let's send you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. Enjoy the first half. We'll see you soon. Welcome, everyone. This is what you've been waiting for. The NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. First for the Cavaliers, Irving and Waiters, the guards. And inside a towering seven-footer, maybe the most imposing big man in the game, all-star center, Andrew Bynum. Then it's Alonzo Chief, and it's Thompson in at the four. And for Sacramento, the guards, Vasquez and McLemore. And the big fella inside out of the University of Kentucky, the unbelievably gifted and powerful pivot man, Jamarcus Cousins. Then it's Ibam Mute, and it's Thompson in at the foreshadow. Building through the draft as the Cavs are means you're trying to collect as much young talent as you can. And evidence of that is the fact that the Cavs had four representatives in the Rising Stars Challenge last year. And the players Clark you mentioned represented in last season's contest, Irvin, Thompson, Zeller, Waiters, definitely something to be happy about when you're seeing that many of your players get a chance to do something like, like the Rising Stars game, Steve. Well, and you add the young players this year and Kasarov, Anthony Bennett, and this is a team that's loaded with young talent. It's all about just putting it together. And I think it's going to be fun to watch this team kind of blossom over the next couple of seasons. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Bynum's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Cavs. I like the way they're working the ball inside because when you do that, you get higher percentage shots, and typically good things happen. Dishes it to Vasquez. Good on the three-point shot. Vasquez has got his first three points of the game. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. Outside Irving. Feeds it to Waiters. About a minute played so far here in the first. Here's Thompson, and he converts the layup. You know, he's really adept at keeping possessions alive by hitting the boards and you know, cashing in on some of those putbacks. And you know what? He is also relentless on the board. He works as hard on his rebound as anybody you're going to see. Here's McLemore. Tristan Thompson picking up that last bucket. Thompson, a screen on Irving. Lock at six. Now here's Vasquez. He's covered by Irving. Vasquez, that's good. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Well, you talk about some of the breakout players of last season. And at the top of the list for me was Grievous Vasquez, runner-up for most improved player. 6'6", point guard, improved his shooting significantly and, and played with a lot of confidence for New Orleans. On offense, here are the Kings. Kicks to McLemore. He feeds it to Vasquez. Six to shoot. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And Vasquez, originally from Venezuela, Clark, and Steve, you know, you mentioned his passing last season. Third guys in the league in assists. Yeah, and it's 6'6", Kevin, a very good rebounder for a guard. He's not super quick, um, and that hurts him defensively, but he has excellent anticipation. And you can always cross-match him with some of the shorter two guards, so he's a valuable player in the backcourt. And that one's good. Vasquez has got eight points. Well, Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. I think both teams feel like they can win. They both have confidence. Uh, so we'll see which team can kind of ride the momentum and take control of this game. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? 
Kevin, thank you. Mike Brown and I got a chance to talk for a bit. He told me he's wary about how they'll contend with DeMarcus Cousins inside. He said he's a beast in there, no doubt about it. Size, length, strength, and a ton of skill. The talent is really off the charts with him. And guys, he knows it won't be easy to muscle Cousins away from the rim, but he said that's what they've got to find a way to do. It won't be easy. Thanks, Doris. Mbaamute with it, and it's Waiters picking him up. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. There's no question the big news for the Sacramento Kings is they're still the Sacramento Kings. After a nail-biting last couple of years, they saw the team flirt with moving to Virginia, Anaheim, Las Vegas, Seattle. Finally, a new ownership group committed to keeping the team in sack. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Irving kicks to Bennett. Cleveland moving the ball around. Waiters dishes to Verja on the wing. Irving, a three ball. That's good. Irving's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And for all the Kings fans, what a great victory. Former three-time NBA All-Star and Sacramento native son, Mayor Kevin Johnson. Instrumental in securing financing for the new arena. And Steve... Oh, oh wow. hammer time. Wow. Hammer time. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now <laughs> to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Martin? Yeah. Well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense, that's for sure. Vasquez kicks to Selma. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Well, Mike Brown hired back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. I got a chance to know him a little bit when he's an assistant with the Pacers early in his coaching career and was let go by the Cavs back in 2010. Family laid down roots in Cleveland, and I think he's glad to be back. Irving passes to Waiters. Back to Irving. Shot clock at six. Bennett. On the line, good, and the assist goes to Irving. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. The Kings trail by five, and for Mike Brown, his firing, kind of a desperation move by the Cavs to try to keep LeBron James. Steve, how'd you analyze that? Well, I'm not sure that LeBron actually wanted him gone, but, you know, he's a great defensive strategist, a guy who excels in player development, and give credit to him. He didn't burn any bridges when he left. He maintained strong relationships there in Cleveland, and it's great to see Mike Brown back there with the Cavaliers. Here We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Waiters no luck. Boy, that's two easy points you've just given away. Vasquez kicks to Selmers. The dish to Vasquez. That's to Thornton. A three. Rebounded by G. Here is Verja. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Uncovered. Double clutches. No good at the rim. Boy, oh, blew the easy two by profile. Trying to look good. That's a bad decision and poor execution. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Cavaliers lead by three. Live from Sacramento, you're watching 2K Sports. We go a close game now starting the second quarter. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Cavaliers? You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And the other thing they're doing is forcing a lot of turnovers, and that's helping them to get easy points at the other end. Thomas against Jack. Now, here's Thomas. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot, too. You look at Marcus Thornton out of LSU, 6'4", a scoring guard. He can really light it up in a hurry off the bench. And for Thornton, a second rounder back in 2009. His size does hurt him defensively, but you'd have to say he's exceeded expectations, Clark. I think so, Kevin. He surprised a lot of people with his ability to provide instant offense. Um, 
He is pretty locked in with tunnel vision offensively. He's myopic now at that end of the floor. He's thinking about getting the ball and scoring the ball. But in his role, I think he's perfect for it. And the Cavaliers making a change here. And Thornton drops two. Well, one of the struggles for a young team is figuring out how to win on the road. And winning on the road is not just execution, it's preparation and mindset. And young teams struggle to put that together, and the Cavs were certainly a team that struggled with that. A chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Hi, gentlemen. For the Sacramento Kings, a lot of rookies, and not just among the players. A new first-time majority owner, a new rookie GM, and Mike Malone, a first-time head coach. A new blood taking over. But for all three, extensive experience in assisting roles, whether assistant coach, assistant GM, or minority ownership. So, guys, despite being new to the lead role, none of them lack for experience. Thanks, Doris. We'll see how they do. Well, the Cavaliers being young was a big problem, and not having much luck with injuries was another. But, Steve, it, it can be tough to score points when you're on the road, and they struggle with that in a big way. Well, they would end up in the bottom five in scoring last year while on the road, and that did them no favors. And defense, I mean, that was another issue. They couldn't stop anybody. So you combine bad offense, bad defense, going on the road, uh, you're in some trouble. Here's Mbamuta looking for his first basket still in this one. Thomas gets the bucket. Oh, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. Cavaliers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Bennett kicks to Waiters. Bennett setting the pick for Waiters. Passes to Miles. He dishes it to Jack. He passes to Bennett. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Four on the shot clock. Let's it go from 11. Waiters. Thompson. And uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup. And while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call it a foul shot or not. But too sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. That free throw good from Thompson. A lot was made about the Kings in their home last year, but it wasn't about how well are they playing at home. It was about where is their home going to be next season. The Kings are staying in Sacramento, but they played like it might be their last to rock. Andrew Bynum's checked in for Cleveland. And so Thompson nails both of them. Sacramento's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Thomas off a pick from Cousins. Throws it up high. Incredible timing on the alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. <laughs> and that's the play we're going to remember when this game is all said and done. The Cavalier shooting has been just great so far, up at 56%. Jack against Thomas. And Jack, here we go. Cam's the 12 footer. Jack's got his first two points. And you go back to the Kings at home last year, 20 and 21 record, and it was easy to see just how much tougher a team they were in this building. You know, Steve, they really looked like a team that could compete with anyone at any time. Well, this community really rallied behind the franchise. And there was a lot of worry that maybe this was the farewell tour for the Kings fans and the players. And they played their hearts out last year. you got to give them a lot of credit for really fighting, particularly down the stretch when things looked grim. Five to shoot. Shoots from 14. Here's Thompson. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Now it's a four-point Cavalier lead. They have got to put a body on him because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive line. So the Kings call timeout. They're first.
For Sacramento, they've gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. McLemore with the ball, and it's Waiters picking him up. Right side, Thomas. And there's the feet to Emba Amuja. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. Guys, DeMarcus Cousins, the fifth pick out of Kentucky back in 2010. Nobody questions this guy's talent. He has tremendous skill. Players with his size and skill don't come along very often. And the Kings making a change here. Landry's checked in. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, gentlemen, a big season for Jarrett Jack last year, a contender for the Sixth Man of the Year award. He said, quote, even if you don't start, you're able to have an imprint on the game. He talked about his versatility, playing either the one or the two, saying, I didn't know I was a combo guard until I came into this league. I just play hard. People know my M.O. As long as I'm on the court, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Kevin? A steady vet. Thank you, Doris. Free throw, good waiters. And Clark, you mentioned the size for Cousins. Physically, he can overpower Steve a lot of players. Yeah, tremendous rebounder, and he can get to the foul line. Offensively, you know, he's got the ability to step out onto the floor and make shots. I mean, he's really got the total package. The question is, can he just improve his overall game? Can he continue to mature and become the dominant player that he's capable of? It'd be interesting to see him on a good team. You know, yeah. With some real nice role models on that Absolutely. team. People rave about his skill set. Outside Thomas. He kicks to McLemore. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Boy, they couldn't hook up there on what really a pretty basic pass. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Irving's checked in. There's 154 left in the first half. Jack dishes to Miles. The pass to Bynum. Working on Thompson. The 10-footer. Second chance shot. And another shot. Bynum, no good. The Kings trail by six. Pass to Thomas. Dishes it to McLemore. Down to five on the shot clock. Thomas goes in. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, I'll tell you what, Isaiah Thomas, guys, was the last pick of the second round. 60th overall his draft year, but he has been terrific. Can pass and score and has stepped into the starting point guard role for the Kings and showed he belonged. And he knocks down the first one. So going back to Isaiah Thomas and the Kings, they really needed a true point guard to set the table for everybody. His emergence was a pretty nice story for this team. Well, he's always been doubted because he's only 5'9". And, you know, he wasn't drafted high, wasn't recruited that heavily. But I think he's demonstrated that he can hold his own with the best in this league. And both free throws good for Thomas. You know, it's really hard to say that Lady Luck hasn't been smiling on the Cavs in the past few years. LeBron was lost a few years back, but ever since then, they've had tremendous luck in the NBA draft lottery and had the first overall pick in two of the last three years. G kicks to Jack. Gets the bucket. Jack's got four this quarter. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Going back to what you said about the Cavs, great luck for them indeed with two number ones in three years. That's definitely how you turn a franchise around. Well, you got to make sure you hit on those draft picks. And as of right now, I would say only Kyrie Irving is a sure thing. Deion Waiters, the jury's still out. Tristan Thompson looks like a nice player. He's getting better. Uh, and we'll find out with Anthony Bennett. G. And a great assist by Jack as that one goes in. 
And now it's a nine-point Cavalier lead. Sacramento's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Moving against Thomas. Feeds it to McLemore. Kicks it to Vasquez. Up in time. And that's not going to go. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Cleveland ahead. They're up by nine. Live from Sacramento, you're watching 2K Sports. Now, presented by Sprint. Saturday, the best day of the week. Let's make it even a little bit better with a halftime show. The Cleveland Cavaliers ahead against Sacramento. Their work on the offensive boards, a big factor, great effort out there. An impressive first half for Tristan Thompson. He has six points and has been grabbing a few rebounds, too. And still in it, the Kings hanging around. Just a shooting exhibition so far. It seems like they can't miss from long range. Vasquez giving them a great boost. His shooting percentage hovering right around 50%. It's awfully good. Heads and tails. And back to Sacramento we go. Thanks so much for being with us. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Now the second half about to start up and begin any moment. Have to like what we've been seeing from basket. That's interesting, too, because the numbers don't jump out at you, but you think about how hard he's played and the number of things he's done well. He's really helped his club. Yeah, he has. I mean, trust me, he's getting it done. He's making winning plays, whether they show up in the numbers column or not. He's impacting the game. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. He's drawing the whistle on a lot of contact. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them, and free throws are better than a layup. No good on the free throw. A season to forget for the Sacramento Kings a year ago. There were times they looked pretty good, but more times than not, they couldn't sustain high-level play. Still managed to do fairly well against Eastern Conference teams when they saw him. And he's good on the second. And back to what you were saying, Clark, about the Kings. Very good when playing out of conference, at, at least relative to their overall play team. Well, 14 and 16 against the East, I mean, that's not a bad record. I'm not sure if it says something about the Kings or something about the East. Probably the latter, but not bad for, uh, for Sacramento to have that record. And here's Vasquez. Eight points for him. He feeds it to Cousins. That falls. Great assist by Vasquez. Six points for DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, he's really stood out for his club today. Even though they're struggling a little bit, he's doing his part. Irving with it, now guarded by Vasquez. Here's G. He's got seven. Irving attacking. It's rebounded by McLemore. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup for them. You know, a lot of players in this league are, are so clever with the ball, they can make defenders look foolish. That's what Kyrie Irving does. I mean, he's just a magician with the ball. And Thompson sends it back. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And going back to Kyrie Irving, ambidextrous, they say, with the ball in his hand. He really is. He can go both ways, and he plays with such great pace and energy offensively. Keeps the ball tight on the string. A true point guard, and I think his assist numbers will only climb as the offensive players around him continue to get better. Steve was saying he was amphibious. I, I didn't understand that at all, Steve. <laughs> Anderson Verajau's checked in for the Cavaliers. Both free throws good for Irving. Going into the season, the hopes were high for the Cavs this past year, but the injury bug really derailed them. Injuries to Irving, Thompson, Zeller, and the big one, the Verizal, really threw them off kilter in terms of having a decent season. 
Now here's Vasquez. Defense right on him. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. That's checked in for Tristan Thompson. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. And going back to the injuries for Cleveland last year, Clark was just talking about the Farajal injury was huge as he provided so much for them in the interior. And Irving was in and out of the lineup for a good part of the season. Steve, it was a disaster. It really was. I'll tell you what, when Farajal and Irving were in together, they were fun to watch. They were pretty good. But once those guys got hurt, no consistency with the lineup, and the young team just went south as the season went on. Irving kicks to Bennett. Pass to Waiters. Waiters off a of pick from Bennett. Off his foot. And it's being called a kickball. Some changes for Sacramento. Hayes comes in for DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Selman's in for Mbaumute. Bennett kicks to Irving. Money from the wing. Irving's got seven points. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Vasquez with it. Eight points for him. It's Salmon's on the wing. Now the dish to Vasquez. Six on the shot clock. And no good. Some solid defense there from Irving. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. G kicks to Irving. Passes it to Waiters. Free throw line jump shot. Landry grabs the miss. Landry's got his third rebound on the night. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Thornton for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Irving's got his third rebound tonight. One thing people kind of forget about with Irving is that, in addition to all the skills he has at the point guard spot, he's a pretty physical point guard. He's well put together and can muscle it up with about any defender he faces. Thornton off a pick from Landry. Thornton passes to Vasquez. And Thornton kicks to Vasquez. Back to Thornton. Gets the front of the rim and out. Cleveland leading by eight. He dishes it to Irving. Shoots from 12. G. He passes it to Waiters. Cleveland moving the ball around. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And for Irving with his size and good athleticism, the potential is there to be a very good defensive player as well. I think that's an area where he himself, Kevin, has acknowledged that he has some work to do. He's been focused so much on his offensive game, but now is the time to, to take that next step and become a, a real solid two-way player. They time it right. They can end this quarter with a two-for-one. Yeah, that's the smart move there. That's how you want to end the quarter, but make sure you get a good solid possession here. The 19-foot shot, good on the shot. Irving's got nine points. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Vasquez dishes to Landry. There's the feed to Hayes. Thornton. He kicks it to Landry. Shot clock at five. Some solid defense there from Irving. And here is Waiters. From deep. And no good trying to get that one. And we've watched three so far in this one. Cavaliers lead by seven. We've got more in store for you right after this.
Welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And Steve and Clark and I are refreshed and ready to go here as well. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Cavaliers. I'll tell you what, they've hit the boards hard in this one. It's led to an abundance of second chance points. I mean, they've gotten a lot of second chance points. And the other thing they're doing, Clark, is scoring a lot of points off turnovers, forcing mistakes, and cashing in. Thompson right side. The pass to Irving. Oh! And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Well, you have to love a point guard who can get his own shot at any time because when the, the game slows down, shot clock winds down, you need somebody be, to be able to create a shot. That's exactly what Irving can do. And it's easy to create shots when you can handle things the way Irving does on the fly. I mean, he, he'll be heading towards the hoop, see a lane get closed off, change direction, recalibrate, and he's already in the air and making things happen with a floater or knocking down a tough shot. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Miles has checked in. Both free throws good for Irving. Look at the free throw percentage. Unblemished since halftime, Clark. That's pretty nice. I'd go farther than that, Steve. How about perfect? Now Vasquez. Dishes to Emba Amuta. Thompson. And it's good. Caught through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. How did he get that to go? Even after the whistle, I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. Dion Waiters checked in for the Cavaliers. That free throw good from Thompson. Now here's Waiters. And there's a whistle that goes on Luke, Richard, and Bahamute. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, close, but I didn't think he got on balance quickly enough. And it's hard to draw charges as quick as players are at this level. That's not an easy bit of work there. Outside Irving. Bynum sets a screen for Irving. Back to Thompson. Baseline jumper. Yes! And it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got three assists now in this one. The Kings trail by eight. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Pass to McLemore. to Thompson. Clock is at three. Feeds to Vasquez. Off target with his three. Well, eventually he'll start knocking those down again. He did make two in the first half. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Now here's McLemore. He's covered by Irving. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. Yeah, not giving up too many second chance opportunities, which is always important. And it's been one of the reasons they have the lead right now. Now here's Waiters, defended by McLemore. Ah! And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. It took a while for Deion Waiters to find his way in the NBA, but after about half a season, he really started to grow with the cast. Showed a lot of that potential as he put forth a, a much more efficient effort in the second half. Alonzo G has checked in for C.J. Miles. Free throw, no good for Waiters. And Waiters, a strong bodied combo guard, taking fourth overall Clark in the 2012 draft out of Syracuse. And you know, he's drawn some Dwayne Wade comparison for his slashing and finishing ability, and I can understand it, but hold up, folks. Don't get <laughs> carried away with that yet. But I love what Waiters showed in his rookie year. He's got some playmaking ability, has active hands defensively, first team all rookie. He's going to be a key part of the Cavs going forward. 
Here's Thompson. Rebounded by Thompson. Thompson's got four rebounds in this game. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. McLemore, no good. The Cavaliers leading by eight. And Waiters kicks to G. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. The first one falls. Carl Landry's checked in for Jason Thompson. And G drops them both. The Kings trail by 10. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. They, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Shooting just one. Cavaliers leading by seven. And here's Irving. 